good afternoon students so in the last class we discussed uh, uh, the design of uh, uh, boolean functions using a uh, 2 is to 4 decoder right so but what we discussed in the last class uh, that that uh, decoder is not commercially available it is uh, uh, not available in the market right so the commercial available decoders are uh, only two that is uh, 74139 and 74138 right so 74139 today we will discuss uh, the first uh, uh, commercial decoder that is 74139 which is dual 2 is to 4 decoder that means there are two 2 is to 4 decoders present in this uh, 74139 and it is uh, uh, it is available in the form of integrated circuit what do you mean by an integrated circuit uh, it is an in short what we call it as ic right so integrated circuit is something looks like this right so it is a uh, vlss circuit very large scale uh, integrated circuit right in which the different uh, um, or the multiple number of gates multiple number of gates or uh, you can say the whole design the whole design is uh, inbuilt in this ic right so that means the logic diagram what we discussed in the last class uh, logic diagram of 2 is to 4 decoder right so that entire logic diagram is available or it is designed and it is fabricated in this uh, integrated circuit okay so if i draw an a simple integrated circuit for this and gate right so nothing is written on this uh, ic nothing in the sense uh, the and gate is not written on this IC, right? So these gates are identified with the help of a number, right? So 7408 is a number for uh, uh, AND gate, right? So it has a total 14 pins. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, one side and 7 pins on other side, right? And the pin numbers are numbered from 1 to 7 and 8 will start from uh, bottom and 8 to 14, right? So here 1 and 2 will act as input and the third will act as output right so total such four gates are available 7 is connected to ground right so 7 is a ground pin 14 is vcc pin because these two pins are um, must because we need to provide a power supply to power supply to this 7408 ic so we need two pins for power supply one is ground and one is vcc right so in this 7408 there are four uh, uh, and ic's um, and gates available right so in the same manner instead of uh, instead of and gates what we will have in 74139 ic we will be having two 2 is to 4 decoder right so in the last class what we discussed 2 is to 4 decoder it was having uh, in uh, active high inputs active high inputs right so you can I will draw it again here uh, what we discussed in the last class right so I, I had denoted only two inputs A and B and there is no bubble here right so that means these are active high inputs and I have drawn uh, outputs without a bubble right so that means outputs are also active high so in this case active high inputs active high inputs and active high outputs and there is no enable pin right so we kept our design very simple without uh, enable pin right so enable pin is absent here right but uh, as i already told 2 is to 4 decoder what we discussed in the last class that is not commercially available in the market right so we have only two kinds of uh, decoders one is 74139 which is a dual 2 is to 4 decoder and one more is 74138 which is 3 is to 8 decoder right so these are the only two decoders which are available in the market and uh, so in your syllabus also you you will be having a, a design using these two commercial ic's itself and even in practical you are going to use these two decoders right so we are not going to henceforth we are not going to use this kind of decoder what we discussed in the last class so henceforth we will uh, use 74139 and 74138 so these commercial ICs, right? So from the diagram you can identify these commercial ICs. Uh, the inputs are active high. They are having inputs uh, active high. 
inputs are active high and uh, outputs are what active low why why active low because uh, you just observe there are bubbles at the output side but here i don't have any bubbles but we are going we are not going to use this 2 is to 4 decoder right so we are going to use this commercial 74139 decoder right which has a bubbles at the output side that means the outputs are active low right then uh, along with these inputs and outputs i have one more pin which is called as enable pin and for this commercial ic enable pin is active low you can observe you can observe a bubble here right so you can observe the bubble here enable pin is active low means if you want to enable this ic if you want to select that ic then you have to keep enable one or enable two as per your design equal to zero right so if you keep enable one and enable two as per your design equal to zero then that particular decoder is selected you will come to know when once i start discussing the uh, design using this commercial decoder right so this is uh, all about uh, the basic introduction to commercial decoder 74139 in next uh, uh, slide we will discuss uh, truth table of 74139 decoder okay let us see how the, what is the difference between the truth table what we discussed in the last class uh, and the truth table of a decoder what we are going to discuss in today's class so let us see now the truth table i have uh, uh, rewrote the last class truth table here using a, a decoder what we have used which was not commercially available right so to understand the basics of a decoder i took that example okay so let us uh, see here this is the symbolic uh, form of uh, decoder where in a, where inputs are active high and outputs are also active high right and this is the two table right so if i modify slightly here if i put one more enable pin right so one more enable pin even that is active high let us assume okay so that means what when enable pin is high when enable pin is high right because it is active high when enable pin is high then uh, this particular decoder is selected right so if i keep enable pin equal to one right so that means it acts as a decoder it acts as a decoder and whenever a and b are zero zero y zero will be high and here i'll cons uh, i've considered a as msb and uh, b as lsb but in commercial uh, decoders i am considering b as msb c here i'm considering b as msb and a as lsb okay so just uh, forget this we are not going to use this uh, uh, decoder what we have discussed in the last class okay so when enable is one that means that particular decoder is selected and uh, if inputs are if inputs are zero zero then y zero will be selected and the rest three outputs are zero right so this uh, working you understood in the last class right so now if i if i make enable is equal to zero that means i am not going to select this ic i am not selecting this ic that means uh, I am not enabling that decoder IC that means whatever you keep your input A and B whatever may uh, whatever values they take the output will not be highlighted here if let us say if enable is 0 and if I keep output as uh, sorry input as 0 1 then output will remain as 0 0 because why because the particular decoder is not enabled because enable pin is 0 right so that particular decoder is not enabled so whatever you keep whatever value you keep on a and b the output will remain as 0 0 right so once you make enable is equal to 1 then that particular decoder is enabled and it will act like um, a 2 is to 4 decoder and the output will change according to the inputs right so this is uh, about the decoder what we discussed in the last class now come to the commercial decoder which is which we are going to use henceforth right for our uh, rest of the designs we are going to use 74139 and 74138 okay so just observe the changes here a and b a and b here are the inputs right so here i'll call it as input and enable i'll call it as enable pin enable input itself okay so inputs when i say inputs you just worry about only a and b right so here 
here a is lsb and b is msb right means inputs are active high and enable pin is active low because of this bubble right so here there is no bubble so i have considered enable is active high since the enable is active high the decoder is enabled when enable is equal to 1 but here this decoder is enabled when enable 1 is equal to 0 right so when enable 1 is equal to 0 because of this bubble i am keeping enable 1 is equal to 0 right if if you don't have this bubble then i, I should keep enable enable 1 is equal to 1 right so when see there are no bubbles at the output side here uh, there are no bubbles there are no bubbles at the output side so output will be 1 when inputs are 0 0 and that particular decoder is selected let us assume the decoder is selected by using enable is equal to 1 and if i make a and b is equal to 0 0 then y 0 will become high and rest all the outputs will become 0 that is when when the uh, outputs are active high right so now the same thing is reversed here because of these bubbles wherever you have one here you write zero and wherever you have one uh, wherever you have zeros you write one that is the difference and whenever that particular decoder is not selected here when uh, uh, this decoder is not selected when enable is equal to zero when enable is equal to zero that particular decoder is not selected but here when enable one is equal to 1 when enable 1 is equal to 1 then that particular decoder is not selected so whatever may be the inputs 1a and 1b where 1b is msb 1a is lsb right so whatever may be the values on 1b and 1a so output will remain 1111 instead of 0000, 0, 0, 0 because when 00, 0 when you will get 00, 0 as output when outputs are active high right so when the outputs are active low because of this bubble so just uh, just complement those zeros complement of zero is one so so in each column of y0 y1 y2 y3 write one right so i hope you understood so when enable one is equal to one then that decoder is not selected decoder is not selected decoder is not selected okay so when decoder is not selected then the output will not change irrespective of the uh, inputs right next when i make enable one is equal to zero when i make enable one is equal to zero then i am selecting this particular decoder right so when enable one is equal to zero and if i make one b and one a is equal to zero zero so what you got here when a and b are zero zero y zero was high here right because of absence of this bubble but i have uh, bubbles here at the output side so in place of y0 what i should write i should write yes guess guess before i say you guess zero correct zero i already told wherever you wrote one here you write you replace them by zeros and zeros are replaced by ones okay zero one 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 right so that is the difference that is the difference between the commercial decoder and the general decoder what we discussed in the last class enable one is equal to zero again i'll keep uh, because i want to highlight it for i want to write this i want to complete this truth table for all four combinations of inputs right so for that i have to select the uh, select the decoder and i have to make enable one is equal to zero so one b i'll i'll make zero and one a i'll make one so it is zero one y one will be will become zero and rest all outputs will be high one zero one one similarly 1 0 z sorry 1 1 0 1 last one 1 1 1 1 1 0 right you just compare the last class truth table and this truth table all ones are replaced by diagonal elements are replaced by zeros right are zeros and rest zeros the zeros are replaced by ones so that is the difference between commercial decoder and general decoder you just forget about this uh, general decoder what we discussed in the last class henceforth we will discuss with the commercial decoder itself right so why i wrote one a, b and one a because uh, as i already discussed in the first slide that is 74139 has two sorry 74139 has two 2 is to 4 decoders dual means 2 dual means 
2 there are two 2 is to 4 decoders right so 1a these are the inputs for first decoder 1a wherever I wrote 1 1a 1b and enable 1 these are all inputs for first decoder and 1y0 y1y1 1y2 1y3 these are the outputs of first decoder similarly the second decoder inputs are uh, denoted as 2a 2b enable 2 wherever 2 appears that is uh, those are the inputs and the outputs of uh, a second decoder 2y0 2y1 2y2 and 2y3 right similar to the first decoder you can also write the truth table for second decoder 1a will be changed to 2a in place of uh, 2b you write sorry in place of 1b you write 2b and in place of enable 1 you write enable 2 and in place of 1y0 1y1 1y2 1y3 you write 2y0 2y1 2y2 and 2y3 okay now uh, let us see what is, what is the logic diagram what is the logic diagram for this commercial decoder that is 74139 Right? So, if I write this truth table in the form of a Boolean expression, right? because if I want to draw the logic diagram, I need the Boolean expression. Without Boolean expression, I cannot draw. So, what we, uh, what I will do, I will write these outputs in the form of what? A Boolean expression. right? So, let us write now. I hmm? will I'll concentrate on these zeros. right? So, if I have 1 as my output, I will write the output in its true form right i will write in its uh, true form wherever i have one because in generally generally the boolean expression always until and unless it is stored uh, the boolean expression is always written in the form of sop that is sum of product right so th that means y is equal to a plus b a is uh, one product term b is one product term and there is sum in between these two product term right so always until and unless it is stored so, Boolean expression are more commonly written in SOP form, right? So, now, uh, when you will write a SOP form, you will, uh, when you will have output as 1, right? If you have output as 0, actually you will write it as a max term uh, or you can, uh, you can say POS term. So, what I will do? Uh, here, instead of writing POS, what I will do? I will write SOP itself and I will take its complement, right? One and the same yes so sop is a complement of pos because sop we track once right and what is one and for pos we track zero right so can i write one is equal to complement of zero yes right so that means what i'll do instead of writing pos instead of writing pos i'll write sop itself and i'll put a bar on that right so that that is nothing but a pos term right so now we will track these zeros and we will try to write the boolean expression for this truth table and later we will draw the logic diagram for 74139 okay so this video i'll um, in today's class i will be making uh, two videos right so the first video is still here the next video i'll uh, start with the logic diagram of 74139 decoder okay